Shortly after leaving the military, I got into industrial maintenance. A friend of mine invited me out here for an interview and I was asked to join the solar team and I fell in love with it and been out here ever since. My name is Matt Tella. I am the operations manager for Sunstreams and Sunshine Valley Solar Parks. Good. Yep. Good. Part of being a operations manager for a solar facility includes keeping up with preventative, corrective, all different types of maintenance. We deal a lot with compliance, um, physical security. I think what most excites me about the industry is just to see how affordable energy can get. A lot of these solar sites, just based on how big they are, you know, we can provide power to 40, 50, 60,000 homes. You know, the sun can only produce energy for a solar plant during the day. And so a lot of times when we're limited on how much output we can have, a lot of that energy goes to waste. And so being able to offset that with battery storage, I think will really open up some new doors. Right now in solar and clean energy as a whole, there's a large community of veterans. And I think it's awesome that it's a place for veterans to find an outlet to use their talents and what they've learned and we welcome it. Being a service member really hits home when you hear the saying, made in America. And to be able to come to work every day and provide America with an energy source, you know, that's something you can be proud of. Climbing, you know, it's a fall risk of three. Uh, make sure you got 100% tie off. Make sure you're doing buddy checks before you get on a ladder, one person on the ladder at a time. I'm Timothy Skitt, I'm from Chickasha, Oklahoma, and I am the plant technician at the Arbuckle Mountain Wind Farm. From what I see in the wind industry, the, there's a lot of veterans, and for veterans to be able to come home after deployment or after serving their country, to be able to find a job where you can still feel proud that you're serving America, that's awesome. I used to weld in the oil field, took some time off work from welding to deploy with the Oklahoma National Guard to Afghanistan. After my deployment, I came home and the old company I worked for shut down. I had a buddy that was going to the Votech for wind energy. Uh, I decided to go with him to do that. And after I got into the industry, got a job, learned more and more about what's going on with the wind. And 10 years later, here I am. I'm not a very political person. I don't pay very much attention to what goes on at DC or watch very much news. You got people that work in wind, people that still work in oil and gas. And you got one side that's pushing clean energy, and you got one side that's pushing oil and gas, but there's no reason why we can't work together to provide an energy source for America. Since I've been in wind, it's done nothing but grow. Uh, there's new projects popping up all over the United States. And from what I can see, the future looks bright for the next 10 years for renewable energy.